Alright, it's Cash Pad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today we're going to be discussing Oliver Anthony's situation with him and his finances as far as this uh, show goes, and him telling that people not to buy the tickets, and a lot of people coming at him online saying that he's uh, money hungry or something. But we're going to debunk all that. So let's get into it, man. Oh, yeah, we back. Before we get into this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit that notification bell. We almost at 10,000 subscribers. So go out and tell your friends about the greatest podcast in the world, Sketch Pad. You know, keep sharing, share, share, share. And thank you for all the donations. We really appreciate y'all, man. We are on a roll right now. So let's play this clip man and then we're gonna come back and discuss how we feel about this because we are big Oliver anthony fans on this page and let's go night joe after ticket prices were listed astronomically high from the venue anthony released multiple statements surrounding this cancellation first here is what oliver anthony had to say in a video released onto his instagram here it is i had to pull off on the side of the road and make this video i'm uh my adrenaline's pumping, man. I'm pissed off right now. And don't buy Cotton Eye Joe tickets for $99 a piece. And sure as hell don't buy VIP passes for whatever bullshit price they're on. Um, I have a buddy of mine who's not a booking agent. He's a friend of mine. He's a full-time plumber. And I'm trying to hire him full-time as my booking agent. And uh, he agreed to the show, I guess, without asking for the, what the ticket prices are. Um, don't pay $100 for a ticket. That's horseshit. Uh, if we've got to cancel the venue and play somewhere else, we will. Uh, I didn't agree to it, and I don't want you to pay it. So please don't. Just I'm just trying to get the word out now. It's, I, I don't know when the event got posted, but just hold off for a little bit. Now, around the same time that he released that video onto his Instagram, Oliver Anthony also turned to Facebook where he ultimately canceled the show. He wrote, Cotton Eye Joe has been canceled. Ultimately, it's my fault for not being more directly involved with the venues who have reached out. My plate has been full and I delegated the responsibility to someone else to help me book. I am not pointing fingers at Cotton Eye Joe. I don't know where the miscommunication took place. I'm just upset seeing those prices. We will find another place in Knoxville area that can do $25 a ticket and free meet and greet. I will work to get your tickets refunded from my own budget if they can't. This will never happen again. Thanks for your patience. I am still learning how all of this works. Now, I just want to go on and note again uh, what Oliver Anthony stated in that statement there. He said he would refund the fans from his own budget if the venue was unable to. That, that is how it is done right there. And again, this was all sparked due to the very high listed ticket prices from the venue, which I think we can all agree concerts have gotten a bit ridiculous anymore. And it's just nice to see that Oliver Anthony is standing up against those high ticket prices. Now, here's. All right. So I'm going to stop it right there. I believe this is a statement from Cotton Eye Joe, or whatever the place is called. <laughs> And we're going to let this play and then we're going to stop it and discuss the whole thing. Another interesting piece to all this, Cotton Eye Joe also released a statement on the situation and also slammed Oliver Anthony for the cancellation of the show. Cotton Eye Joe's statement onto their Facebook reads, It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for the customers of the world-famous Cotton Eye Joe. Most times we say a show has been canceled due to circumstances beyond our control. Well, we are canceling the Oliver Anthony show under our full control. All refunds will be made in the next few business days to your original form of payment. The North Man of Richmond contracted to play the Cotton Eyed Joe for $120,000 for 60 minutes. After doing the math and knowing we can only hold approximately 1,500 people, paying the ticket website their fee to sell the tickets, paying the tax man, opening the Joe on a closed night, we set the ticket price to break even and bring our customers a show we thought would be fun. 
to our talent agency and promoter friends that follow us. Be careful booking the Northman of Richmond. Wow, so Oliver Anthony there saying he does not point fingers, but uh, the venue had no problem uh, doing it themselves. So, guys- All right, man. I guess I could speak on it first. I'll put it to you like this. I'll, I'll side with Oliver Anthony on this one because if you do the calculations, I don't know what that is. What's that sound? I like it's like some air or something. Oh, okay. Um, if you do the calculations, I don't think they would have broke even. And when you start, whenever you talk to somebody or talk about somebody, if you started out with an insult, I don't believe nothing you say. You started out with it's a damn shame with the yeah, fans of Cotton Eye Joe guy. I don't believe you because if you start out like that, you ain't serious. And then you using some of his songs as like, like, like against him. You know what I'm saying? You like no, like so. Let me get this right. You didn't lose nothing. You didn't lose anything. So yeah. so why you why you insulting him? He just canceled the show. You didn't lose nothing. You didn't lose no money. All you had to do is reimburse people. That was it. And you said you opened on the day that they were closed. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So if you were op- if you were if you were open on a day that they were closed, then how are you mad? Y- y- y'all didn't lose anything. You get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. you mad at Oliver Anthony for what? Because he said that the ticket prices were too high. I- you saying you was gonna break even, but there's a lot of companies who don't ever break even. They usually they usually just pay and they take a loss. Yeah. I I know for a fact because I one of those companies that did that. <laughs> Yeah, I took a lot of losses. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to make the fans happy. So when 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 people say stuff like that, I don't I just don't fall into it. So I just think that they they're lying. You know what I'm saying? And if he said if Oliver Anthony comes out and says like, first of all, Oliver Anthony got he had a he had a deal for eight million dollars. What's a hundred million? What's a hundred thousand dollars? But to eight million. If you think he's money hungry or if he's greedy or he wants money, then why would he cancel the show? That doesn't make sense. He would just, he would literally just have people pay the money and he would have took the hundred grand if he was money hungry. Yeah. I I, I, I just don't understand that the whole logic behind that. You're saying he's money hungry. Like it doesn't make sense. If he was money hungry, he would have took $8 million is much more than a hundred (laughs) grand. It's much Mm -hmm. more. (laughs) So if he was money hungry, he would have took that. You know what I'm saying? So, I just think that this whole story got blown up because everybody is looking for everybody is looking for a reason to hate Oliver Anthony because of the song he put out. Everybody's looking for a reason to hate him. That's how I look at it. And somebody's trying to find something that they could say, well, see, look, he's like that. See, he ain't no different. See, not to say he's an angel or a saint, but still, like if y'all if y'all reaching like this, like, come on, man, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. Yeah. Um, how can I start? When people don't really have nothing on you, they try to make up stuff to paste on you, so they make you, you know, to uh, to change who you are, to make you look bad in the public's eyes. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know if Anthony don't even. Like, first of all, the guy stopped in the middle of the road and he uh, put out a post immediately after he heard everything. So if if he if he took out the time to do that, then I don't see where all this Oliver Anthony's greedy stuff will come from. Because if I'm greedy, why am I going to go make a post right away? concerning the matter of money because i wouldn't care i wouldn't care if i'm greedy i don't care i don't care about anything all i care about is my money so if i'm a greedy person why am i making a post you see what i'm saying like people just try to find anything 
to to like cover up on people and make people look like they're a joke. Oh, he's not a real he's not a real individual. All that stuff he was saying, that's for sure. Nah, he's not like that. Because he really didn't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He know he's he's he already said he never signed off on it. He didn't know. So like he said he's new to this thing too. So everything that is happening to him right now is happening in real time. Like it's not something that he's been in for five, six, seven, eight, ten years. You know what I mean? This is something he's doing on his own. He's 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 hiring people that are close to him to work for him. He said his friend is a plumber. He's hiring him as a booking agent. His friend probably don't even have booking agent experience. He definitely don't. <laughs> he's just giving, huh? I said he definitely don't. Yes, he's just giving him a job. It's similar, it's, it's almost, except, you know, Rich Paul has experience in the field, but it's almost like when LeBron, LeBron hired his friends to work with him to help them get money. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing just about. He's hiring people that are close to him to work with him to get money together. I mean, honestly, that's really how you're supposed to do it. But in today's world, you know what I mean, it's just totally different. But, you know, getting back to what I was saying, man, he, I, I, I don't see him being that way. I really don't. You know, like, people just try to find things to, to paste on people for no apparent reason. You know, he didn't even have to make the post because he don't owe nobody nothing. But he felt like since his name is attached to it, which technically, as a business owner, and that's your brand, if your name is attached to something, you gonna be held accountable for it, even if you didn't know. So he doing what a normal business owner would do. Like, you know what I mean? He's pleading and telling people, look, if this don't happen, I'll give you your money back myself. He don't have to do that. He don't. Yeah. But yeah, I don't I don't believe nothing they say, man. It's just fake news. Yeah. It totally it totally contra it totally contradicts what the whole statement contradicts Oliver Anthony's character. Does this mm -hmm. make sense for you to say? Didn't you tell people not to book him? Why? He mm -hmm. he didn't lose nothing. He said, "Don't, don't. I, I, I tell you not to book him. Why? Because he, because he told people not to pay a hundred dollars for some tickets. Yeah. And if you want to pay, we're gonna pay twenty five dollars. That sounds like a person who actually cares about his fans. Because mm -hmm. if he didn't care about his fans, he'd be like, I don't want to throw no names out there, but he'd be like certain people. They'd be charging five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars for a ticket. Yeah. Literally, in any seat doesn't matter." 700 i seen it but anyway hey man sketch pad we out of here man shout out to oliver anthony man keep on doing Peace. keep going keep keep up the work man keep up the good work man you know what it is mm -hmm.